Back to poking around. I just want to walk around the pretty house. This oh. priory is so much bigger than our small cell in the forest. That's the front door. Oh, the music cut out. All right, so here's the local map, showing everything about where I currently am. Hello, local map. I've been to most of these places so far, yeah. Okay. Find out about the missing knights. I just look around for other people, I suppose. Let's head to the back. Maybe I can go inside this house now. Oh, there's someone over here. Arnaldus. Probably dug graves for James. But James's grave is empty. How many empty graves are here? Brother Arnaldus, how are you? Huh? What? How are you? Are you well? Oh, Brother Philip. Yes, I am well. It's just that the dead won't stay in the ground. What? The dead. It's probably those badgers always digging up the graves. Grave digger badgers. Oh, hey, look, there's people in the for the forefront. The novice I met at the bridge. Both should be working or studying the Bible. What does the word of God say about grave digger man? Do not rebuke an older man, but encourage him, as you would a father. What was that? Scripture, hmm. Brother Arnaldus. What? All is well. Do not mind me. Reading it out loud in front of him. Say, has there been a knight to Kingsbridge? A knight? A knight? Yes. He's here. Right here. Uh, do you know who he was? How did he die? Brother Paul found him. Where is Paul? Down at the bridge, freezing his walnuts off, I reckon. He talked to him. I only put him in the ground. That's all I ever do. Do you have any idea what the knight was doing here? Probably tried to jump off the end of the world. W what do you mean? There is nothing here. Kingsbridge lies at the end of the road. Nobody comes here. Well, that's not great for us, so he's straight up dead, apparently, and already buried. My father gave the Priory a good deal of land to keep me fed. I won't eat salted fish all day. Me neither. Shall we go into the cellar again tonight? Yes, Brother Marcus. You still have old Cuthbert's keys? Indeed I do. I hid them right in the church. Stuffed them in the large crack in the wall. I could do some crack stuff in myself. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you could. One of the novices said he hid Cuthbert's keys in a crack in the cathedral. That's that's information I can use against people? Can I ask, ask them about that? That's kind of That'd be kind of funny to think about. Have you guys seen the missing knight? Maybe Milius or Cuthbert know more about the knight. Okay. I'm not talking about that. Let's see. A crack in the cathedral. That's where I just was, right? Let's look for that cellar key. Candles. Just the candles. Holy water font. A uh, Bible. Holy water. The flock uses holy water as if it could cure any illness. The scripture only mentions it as a means to find out if a woman lay with a man that is not her husband. But the water gives people hope and faith. Who could argue with that? 
Is that true? Is that all that is that all the Bible says about holy water? That's weird to think about. It's James's grave, cathedra, altar. Oh, there's a crack in the wall. The novice said he hid the keys in here. They're here. I have them. Hey, they unlocked most of the doors and gates in the priory. That's handy. Hmm. Now they're mine. Am I gonna get in trouble for that? What on earth? As if God was pointing at us. Did we fall from grace? Our Father that art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts, as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. I find something interesting here, which is that we started off with a builder character, and I read about- I, I looked into the books, gl I glanced at a wiki basically, and I was curious, because it, it sounded like the book might emphasize specifically uh, architecture. And that seems to be stressed between those two things, the fact that our view of the inside of the cathedral, which that guy says he wants to build as cathedrals, the inside of this place, we get a huge ceiling to floor view of the place, no matter what. Everywhere else we go, the camera kind of zooms in on us and is like focused in a way that we at least we're easy to see. But our characters are like ants on the screen and we just navigate among it in a camera that doesn't seem to be particularly interested in following our character and more interested in just taking in the scope of the gargantuan room that we are in. The cathedral, it is not for me to take that seat. The bishop's throne resides far away from King's Bridge. Bishop only here on holy days. The bishop must know scripture very well to discuss the word of God with him. To give a sermon here on a holy day it could reach so many. And he said to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. That's his take on the lightning bolt oh shaped crack in the wall. Is this a sign? Then where did he fall? Not a great sign. Let's see, can I use these here then? No, I'll stay down here. I'm not good with heights. Really now? At the moment, I'm just kind of curious to see if I can find anywhere else to try. Do I already have access to this door? What have I gained access to by finding the keys? Maybe the side house over here? Are you still locked? Nope. I asked not to be disturbed. Brother Remigius. I'm sorry I interrupted your service. You mean Prior James's service? Quite so. I heard he fell through the ice. Horrible. Yes. I was the one who found his rosary by the river. Now let me continue my work. Did a knight come to Kingsbridge within the last few weeks? Of course. Even the bishop and the earl were here for the Christmas service. I held the sermon. And the week before? Uh, that week I was not here. Andrew Sacrist and I traveled to Shireland to hire cooks and buy food for our guests. I see. This, meant this music is out of control right now. It's getting really loud. I could report the key thief if you want to. Why would Prior James walk out onto the river at night? He was chased. Chased? By whom? The accuser. 
But why would the devil be chasing him? Better to not get involved in all this, hmm? Don't you have your own priory cell to run? You really believe the devil killed the prior? Some of the brothers do, and I respect their beliefs. You may never know what happened, and that's that. Now let me get back to my work. Let's try the audio real quick. It's getting a little out of control with the music. Try pumping down the non-voices a little bit to make them easier to stand out. That'll hopefully help out. There we go. So that guy's only two facial expressions are uh, glaring, and then the eye closed, eyes closed, like condescending, patronizing, like, "Oh, I'm so right, and I'm going to say that this. I'm going to explain this thing to you in the most condescending way possible." Here's the kitchen. Hello, Brother Milius. Come. Warm yourself by the oven. Is that Philip? Tell him to warm himself by the oven. Thank you, Brother Cuthbert. Those are his keys, aren't they? Milius, Cuthbert. Yeah, these are Cuthbert's keys. Maybe I should just return them to him. Cuthbert, I believe I found your keys. Where did you find them? The thief hid them in the cathedral. That is a sacrilege. Will you report the thief to Remigius, Brother Philip? I will think about it. Keep them until we know what to do, will you? Oh, weird. He doesn't want them back. Interesting. Brother Cuthbert. Ah, we were waiting for you. I hope you brought some of that wonderful cheese you make at St. John's. I, uh, I gave it to one of your novices. Why would you do that? He said it's not easy doing the Lord's work when you're hungry. Greedy brother Marcus. You are too trusting, Philip. I'm sorry for how I talked to you about the Priory earlier. It's just that at St. John's we worked hard to become self-sufficient. We have given so much to Kingsbridge, our mother house. And the Priory here is in a horrible state. Don't you think I know that? Ah. We should be rich. The Priory has much land and collects from many parish churches. But we are in debt. Our novices steal from us, Philip. That is a, that seems to be a problem, yes. Has there been a night to Kingsbridge recently? Hmm. Milius, wasn't there a poor soul found dead before Christmas? I don't know if he was a knight. He was put to rest in the cemetery. The cemetery? That was the right thing to do. Let us continue another time, Brother Cuthbert. Of course. We seem to have a corroborated story at this point. Here, here's the cloth with the cheese. The cloth is useless, at least right now. No, no, we're gonna tease him with it. <laughs> That's horrible. The glory of young men is their strength, but the splendor of old men is their gray hair. Matthew? Proverbs. 
I'm afraid I won't have much chance to improve my reading at my age. But I'll take your word for it. Proverbs it is. Strange one. Yeah, yeah, young people have strength, but old people have gray hair. You ever thought about that? I'm like, what? I don't know what this point is. Hard at work, as usual, Milius. I have to serve salt fish six times a week now. We hear you have fresh fish every day at your cell in the forest. Every other day, we even have poultry. You have done wonderful work at St. John's, Philip. We, on the other hand, had a week prior for 13 years. May the Lord rest his soul. What you worked hard for at St. John's is wasted here in the Mother House. After the election, the new prior ought to put things right. Remedius, put things right. Maybe we underestimate Remedius. He's about to burn all the books and documents in the prior's room. Including the prior's ledgers. Remedius says James asked for everything to be burnt after his death, except for his Bible. What? Without the ledgers, the Priory's finances will be beyond saving. Was no one else nominated? Only Cuthbert. I refused. I'm too old. No one else dares to follow in Prior James's footsteps. Not since he began talking to the devil. What? One day he started talking to the devil, as if they were standing side by side. He was bargaining with the devil for his soul, whispering about his sins. His sins? I just realized why this game seems oddly familiar in its art style, and it's because Dead Synchronicity, I think, was another Daedalic -like game that also had, like, a... This ex almost this exact same animation style. Not the same art style, exactly, with this- I don't think the painting and everything was quite the same, but the harsh facial lines and, like, the number of frames that happen during mouth animations, like, is so reminiscent of Dead- of Dead Synchronicity. Which I think was Daedalic. I think that's what led to me playing other Daedalic games, and, uh... I suppose we'll see- I'm still waiting for, like, Chapter 2 to come out, because that was an interesting little game. Also, I'm getting the vague feeling that we're gonna end up that our character might end up supplanting the current, uh, the current nomination, and we might become the leader of this place instead. Did you see a knight in Kingsbridge? You mean aside from the nobles attending the Christmas service? No, I don't remember any knights visiting us. We'll talk more later. If there's one man I don't need to preach to, it's Milius. What was that? Were you... Nothing. It's just... I thought I'd love for you to have more of a say around here. <laughs> I'm just the Kitchener. And a friend. If you think I underestimate myself, then you do, too. Maybe that's why we get along so well. Because they both lack self-esteem. <laughs> Ah, wonderful. 
I always put some extra stones on the stove to warm up water. Put one in your pocket, you'll keep warm. Oh? Ouch! Careful, they're hot. Didn't plan that one very well. Well, that's what the cloth is for, apparently. The stone is still hot. Perfect to keep warm on cold winter days. Nice and warm. And I didn't burn my hands, Milius. I knew you could do it. Some have only a prayer to warm themselves. Some have not even that. Is not my word like fire, declares the Lord, and like a hammer that breaks the rock in pieces? Praise the Lord. Milliers, why do you keep a beautiful pot like this around? Oh, it, uh, it reminds me that we should strive for order and beauty. I started collecting some seeds and nuts because I wanted to start a new garden. A good idea. I never got around to collecting more, though. If you find some, let me know. Now I have a place to take seeds and nuts. A nice pot with some seeds in it. Too nice a pot for a monk? Oh. That's interesting. Because he was suggesting that perhaps that the, uh that the other people are stealing from everybody? You're saying that the, uh, the, the lower people tend to steal, but what if some of them are also not doing entirely legit things, and that's why we're not having the right budget here? Ladles and spoons, Milius keeps everything nice and tidy. If only the rest of this prior was well kept. I think I'm gonna give Milius the benefit of the doubt on the whole, like, thing that might be too fancy for a monk, though. Maybe he just found it. Our character seems to specifically have a high opinion of him, and that's all I really have to go on. You keep everything nice and tidy around here, Milius. It's not easy. This morning, one of my ladles broke. That's never a good sign. Everything is falling apart. The Son of God died on a wooden cross. The martyrs were burned on wood. Even something as innocent as a tree becomes a weapon in the hands of man. That is very true, Philip. Very true. But my ladles are also made of wood. <laughs> Not all hope is lost, then. I'm sure the Lord will forgive you for being attached to such a beautiful little pot. I hope you will. I'm amused by... I, 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 I kind of just like to take the Bible and just rub it on everything to see what kind of morbid direction they're going to go with it. Like, I'm sure the Lord will forgive you for being attached to a pot. It's like... Wow, there's just the suggestion that he could be doing something wrong just by having something like that. Like on an, e on an eternal damnation sort of level. Well, I've got some information about this, uh, knight. About that knight. He was carrying an important document for my master. You have to find it. Thank you for your help. How could I not help you? You're my little brother. <laughs> I knew I could rely on you. Okay, this isn't really going anywhere. I think I, I must need to find an item that... I must either have to find an item that belongs to the knight or find a little, like, usable item, like... Like this one, this, like, who knows something about Francis' missing knight. I, I don't know a bunch of things about the knight, but apparently these aren't good enough. So I need to find other things about the knight. Hang on a second. Hey, my pony has arrived. Getting old. 
was in St. John even before me. Hopefully many, many travels together are ahead of us. What is it? Can you not see that I'm working? Brother Marcus stole Cuthbert's keys. Oh, Brother Marcus. I will deal with him. You were right to report this to me. Theft is something we cannot take lightly. About the keys that were stolen by Brother Marcus. I will deal with him. You were right to report this to me. They're seeming kind of irritating. I mixed them up a little bit, but isn't... Is he the same one that got the, the cheese for me and now he's complaining now he's going Either way they're like raiding the resources and that's like a hazard. Like it's somebody's job to actually determine who handles resources like that. And so to just be raiding through you're causing a you're causing a new problem that shouldn't be allowed to happen. So either way they're doing something wrong here. Can you No, I'm just trying to go over here, damn it. Over here. There you go. Oh, this takes me right out to the mill, apparently. Oh, I can probably use the keys here. It was locked before. 